<laughs> hey guys, how are you doing today? So in today's self-love journey video thing I want to do is I want to introduce you guys to my little sister Kendra. Okay. And I thought it'd be a cool way for you guys to get to know me and also maybe influence you guys to spend a few hours or a day with your sibling that maybe you're not as close with because having a 10 year age gap <laughs> could be an excuse to not hang out, but we still make it work and it really is helpful. Yeah. So enjoy today's video. I'll see you guys after. Oh. <laughs> I had no idea what to say. <laughs> like, okay, so what I do is I ask them how they are. I say, hey guys, how are you doing today? And then like I give a little space and I say how I am doing today. Okay. So. Hey guys, how are you doing today? Today I'm with my older sister. Um, we're hanging out. We're filming a sister type of guys today. <laughs> oh my god, I didn't know that. <laughs> that was good. So today I will be doing a sister tag with my little sister because part of my self-love journey. I have definitely realized that when I'm going through a hard time in my life, I isolate myself. Yeah. And <laughs> she's normally the one that calls me out on it and is like, hey, are you alive? <laughs> so she'll normally come to the rescue and we'll hang out with each other and then I feel regrouped. <laughs> so something that we have always bonded over is definitely YouTube. Yeah. We both are like little YouTube junkies. Kendra actually wants to do YouTube, yeah. she's just a little <laughs> shy. Shy, like yeah. I have been my whole life, so I don't blame you. But we are going to do a cute little sister tag so you guys can get to know me some more. This is a side I've never shown before. I mean, mm -hmm. I've shown my sister here and there, but not really yeah. getting to know us like this. Yeah. So let's dive into this video. <laughs> Who is the youngest and oldest among you? I am the oldest, and I'm yet youngest. We are 10 years apart. Mm -hmm. yeah. What do you like about your sister? For me, I like she's really caring. She's definitely caring. She always could tell when I'm down. She always wants to find a way to help me out. And I love it about you. And you're also beautiful. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> um, what I love about my sister is she is the one that teaches me that when you want something, just go get it. <laughs> she literally, the moment she has her eye on something, it's hers. Like, she's not going to not have it. And it's so weird that someone so much younger than me has taught me that, but literally since the day she came out of my mother's womb, <laughs> she just got what she wanted. <laughs> no apologies. What do you hate about your sister? <gasps> okay. Um, that's a strong word, so I'm not going to use hate, but I definitely think we can both agree on this, but we both get really jealous of our mom. Yeah. And Kendra. <laughs> The one thing she never lets me do is be alone with my mom for too long. Yeah. She gets a little nosy. So just, that's our little hiccup in life. Yeah. Um. It's not like, maybe the, oh, I don't know. You can, this is where you're honest. This is where you humble me. Um. <laughs> uh, not think of anything right now okay next one what do you and your sister have in common mm. Ooh, you answer that one first because you can't answer the last one <laughs> and besides the mom we both the same mom but our love for animals definitely because mm. we both love animals a lot mm -hmm. and i think we're just both as equally girly yeah we both are girly girls what is the funniest funniest memory you guys have together <laughs> There's a lot. Okay. <laughs> Who, do you want to go first? Or you go first. I mean, you kind of scarred me from it, but <laughs> her and her friend uh, one day decided to have me do the cinnamon challenge. <laughs> um, <laughs> they got really in trouble for it. They like put the cinnamon in my mouth and I started choking <laughs> on the powder and just went woof out of my mouth. Um, the funniest memory I have of Kendra and I is when I was a senior in high school, my mom would always have me pick up my sister from school and I would just pick her up and make her just hang out with like all my friends and one day I was like, I picked her from school and I was on my way to, I was on my, way to my, my friend's house and once we got there I was like, oh my god, wait a minute. 
I totally forgot there's gonna be a fight after school. <laughs> I drive Kendra over to like this park where I knew the fight was gonna happen. Might I tell you we grew up in Santa Clarita. It's like not <laughs> bad. It's like, it was hilarious. But anyway, there's like, literally so many people from our school were coming they even stole golf carts and i like literally parked right where the fight was about to happen and we just had front row seats <laughs> these two girls like pulling to their hair and punching each other and kid was like what is going on because you were what seven at the time i think i was like six six or seven yeah it was it was really funny i was like with all my blankets in the back and i was like more i was like oh my goodness and all her friends like looked in the back seat and they're like is that your little sister and she was like yeah what do you and your sister do for fun? Oh my god. We do a lot of things for fun, actually, yeah. I think. We just, like, have sister dates every now and then. Mm -hmm. Like, we like baking together. Mm -hmm. We like bake and cook together. Uh, we'll sit down and talk with each other. Mm -hmm. Number eight. eight. Mm -hmm. Describe your sister... Uh, describe your sister in just three words. Ooh. Caring. Uh Definitely. Cause, um... Motherly, she like, she like, we like try to like. She'll see a mess and she's like, okay, I gotta go clean. <laughs> God. Okay. And positive. Okay, I'm gonna choose creative, beautiful, thank you, and sensitive. <laughs> what's your nick? What? What's your nickname? Family call. So like the what mm. the family. Um, well, I think we have, nick I have a nickname for her. I just call her K. Yeah. Literally K. Mm hmm Our grandma had nicknames for each of us. Like, no one really calls nicknames. Yeah, we don't family. really do nicknames. But our grandma called, weren't you Miss Mo? Mm-hmm. And then I was Cater Dids. <laughs> <laughs> Whose room is a mess? Mine's a mess right now. Well, mine's a mess right now, too. But that's because she came over early and we just, like, had a, like, little mini sleepover. Mm -hmm. But normally both of our rooms are pretty clean. Yeah. My friends came over for a sleepover and a disaster free happened. <laughs> it's scary. <laughs> what is your sister's favorite food or drink? Ooh, this is gonna be hard. <laughs> I have no clue. What is my favorite food and drink? Dang, um, I don't even know sometimes. <laughs> Neither do I. I know for... Yeah, I think I am for food. Okay. And then... Wait, who asked the question? Oh, so I go first because you asked the question. Yeah. Um, your favorite drink, I think, is that one that you get at Starbucks. That, like, strawberry one. But it's like not the one with the cream, it's like oh. that like iced tea thing you get. Oh yeah. Like I just, she always orders those things. That is true. Your favorite food? Mmm. <laughs> Let's think. Well, she's really weird about food, first of all. Even for her birthday dinner, she's like, I don't know. And I'm just <laughs> like, think, child. Think. <laughs> That's really true. I think it's like, I think you just like not bland carbs, but I think you like mashed potatoes. Like French fries, yeah. um, just stuff like that. Like yeah. you're just very simple. <clears throat> Favorite drink? Lemonade. Mm hmm. <laughs> you like? I love lemonade. <laughs> yeah. Um. Food. Mm. <laughs> mm. <laughs> I you like chicken strips. You like mashed potatoes. Yeah, but favorite. Like, if I were gonna, if I was gonna pick a restaurant, where do I normally like to go? I already know it off the top of my head. Hey. Sushi. <laughs> oh, that is true. I love sushi. What does your What does your sister think about the most? Ooh. <laughs> you have to answer it first. <laughs> um. Well, I mean, there was a person for a part of it. <laughs> um. YouTube definitely like creating new videos. Mm -hmm. I do think about that a lot. And what's going to be for dinner next? Like, how are you going to make food? <laughs> I think you think about growing up a lot. Yeah, that's actually really true. Mm -hmm. She's always, like, anticipating the future and, like, what she's going to look like and what high school is going to be like. And I'm like, chill out. It's not that great. <laughs> <laughs> Who reads more? Her, definitely. I hate reading. Yeah, I'm a, I'm a bookworm. What is the thing you love to do together? Mm -hmm. So, like, things that we do together now. Mm -hmm. Right? Um... Um, Wait, it says you'd, so that means you would, like a future. Oh, okay, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Didn't see that. Um, maybe go on more hikes again, because we used to go on hikes, but we don't do as much. Mm. 
Um, what I can't wait for is... It's weird because she doesn't know this, like kind of anticipate this, but like I know that when she's like in her 20s and I'm in my 30s, <laughs> I think we're gonna travel a lot together. And like I'm looking forward, like I, I, like I love our time now together, but like I know that our sister bond thing is gonna like really develop when we're older and like get to do adult things together. Mm -hmm. So Joe's always been like on a different wavelength. Yeah. Who is the most talented? Um, I don't like that question. That's weird. Um, that's a weird question. We're definitely ta we're talented in different things. Like, yeah. I'm. She's definitely more talented in horseback riding and like creating like YouTube and stuff. Where I'm more like, cause I do cheer and like I bend and do tumbling. Mm -hmm. Like I bend my back. Um, yeah. So it's like we're equally, but in our own different ways. Mm -hmm. I agree. What's your favorite makeup brand? Hmm. I think Laura Mercier, because I love the foundation they have. Mm. Like, and their highlighter is really nice. Mm. Yeah. I'm a NARS fiend. I always have been. I love NARS. What is your sister really bad at? Self doubt. Her, all day. <laughs> she self doubts herself way too much. Seriously. Everything. I'm just like, please stop. <laughs> <laughs> um. What's the word? I'm blanking on that word. I'm just like, uh. You don't like to be mean. It's so ridiculous. I just feel bad. I'm like. The point of these videos is for it to be like on blast and hilarious. It's okay. It's part of the content. What is something I'm bad at? <laughs> Tell me. I need to know. <laughs> Being or What's the word? Being happy with your looks. Like you always mm. are very insecure with yourself. I agree, I agree, I agree. What is your sister really good at? Mm. Well, at making YouTube videos, like that is a really hard thing to like <laughs> just sit down, just like edit videos, like, oof, you doing that? I would get up like 20 times a day, <laughs> I'd be like, I can't, I'm bored. <laughs> and also reading, like you can just sit down and read a whole book in a day, where me, I'm like, it takes me like uh, two years to like read a <laughs> Dr. Seuss book, I'm like, I'm bored of this. <laughs> Um, for you, she's a really good listener. Like, if you really want to talk to someone, Kendra just actually absorbs everything you say and, like, really talks mm -hmm. back to you, which I think has a lot to do with your innocence. Yeah. I admire it a lot. <laughs> who loves... Who I loves, think they forgot the S. Yeah. Who loves cooking and makes delicious, delicious items. Um, I mean, you're definitely the better cook. <laughs> um, she's definitely better at baking. I, for some reason, struggle with baking. I could cook. But it's not like anything too fancy. Mm -hmm. But yeah, you're definitely the better chef. <laughs> it's just the age gap. Yeah. One day. It <laughs> takes a lot of time to learn. <laughs> okay. Number 22. Mm. Who takes longer to get ready in the morning? Depends on what Marissa. Back in high school, Marissa, <laughs> probably me. Oh my god. The amount of makeup you are, you're like. <laughs> now, I think you get ready. I think you take longer to get readier. Yeah, it takes me a while to find clothes because I'm like, I'm like, wait, do I like this outfit together though? Mm hmm. Who likes heels or flats? I don't like heels at all. They're uncomfortable. Uh, same. I pr honestly prefer gym shoes. <laughs> I like wearing vans. Are you both close? Yeah, at some points we distance each other and we just don't talk for a while. That's because we just don't really like think about it because we're both lives are busy or we're just like... We're just both in different stages of our lives. Mm -hmm. And then we'll come really close again. Mm -hmm. Like, last year during June we took like a two month break. Like we did not talk for a while because we got into a disagreement with each other. Mm -hmm. Then we got really close in like November, December. Like we got really close with each other. Mm -hmm. And like we hung out, like I stayed at her house for like a week straight one day, <laughs> or one week. I was like, <gasps> yeah. So it just like goes between. What's a weird habit of your sister? Ooh, I'm happy you get to go first. Dang. Because I had to think of one, <laughs> but I kind of know them. Um. Ooh, this is going to test if you're as observant as I. I'm such an observant person. I know weird things about everyone that's in my life. I'll say one first. Yeah, I like okay. So I don't, I think this is a habit that she does is when she's nervous, she stands like this. <laughs> that is actually really 
true. I like, I like this hiker up. Like, whenever she's going to do something that she's uncomfortable, you know she's uncomfortable because she goes... <laughs> <laughs> it's like your, I don't know, your weird safety. Um... Oh, you like playing with ears a lot. Yeah, that's <laughs> true. Goes, or like hair, she'll go like this and start playing with people's ears and you're just like, um, okay. <laughs> <laughs> that's true. That is weird. Describe the last thing you did with your sister. The last thing we did is we went to Descanso Gardens. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. And it was a place that our grandma used to take us when we were all kids. Kendra was pretty young, so she didn't really remember it. Mm -hmm. But... I just, we decided to go on our little mm -hmm. sister date there and it was really fun, it was really yeah. beautiful. I am actually, I want to go again now that the sun is coming back because mm -hmm. all the flowers will bl bloom. Complete this statement, my sister is... Okay, no, we're going to take that a second. <laughs> um, my sister is... My sister is growing up and evolving. Yeah. Mm. What about you? <laughs> You're def my sister is definitely maturing, like, and learning to stop doubting herself. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. How old are you? 24. 14. When were you born? September 20th. January 16th. Okay. Who is the most immature between you two? Probably me, because I'm younger. <laughs> like... <laughs> yeah, just age. Okay. So, try the outro. So, try an outro. My outro is you have to say you are what you think about, though, at the very end. Okay, so that little like. So you outro, like think of all the YouTube videos you watch. How do they end it? Usually, don't forget to like and subscribe. Hope you enjoyed today's video. <laughs> mm hmm. Try it out. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and don't forget. Wait. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> like. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I hope you enjoyed today's video. Um, okay, so thank you guys so much for watching today's video. I hope you guys truly enjoyed it. We had so much fun mm -hmm. making this video. And I will be seeing you guys tomorrow for day seven. Wow. Okay, see you <laughs> Bye, guys. <laughs> see? Okay, a little bit more delicately. We're, we're teaching her, people. She wants to do YouTube. She's going to learn today. Bye, guys. There it is. Money shot.